my name is Christine Pickerlip from Westmount Florist. I'm coming to you from 360 Victoria Avenue in the Westmount Village, Victoria Village. Uh, one of the things our customers ask us a lot is they get flowers delivered to them and they don't know how to put them in a vase properly, make their own centerpiece. Uh, there's a wonderful trick, it actually comes from something that was invented many, many years ago. If you see your grandmother or uh, your great-grandmothers would have these silver bowls and they would have this metal grid on top which they would arrange the flowers in. They're pretty difficult to use, so there's a more modern way to do it. And uh, I've shown this many times to people, it's a great trick. What you do is you get your vase out, and it doesn't have to be a glass vase, it could be ceramic container or really any type of vessel you want to use. And all you basically need is scotch tape. Everyday scotch tape that most people have. Regular scotch tape, not that, uh, I don't know what the other one's called, with the, uh, I don't remember what it's called. Basically what you do is you take the scotch tape, Put it across the top, make a grid. We're going to keep doing that. You want them to be, depending on the size of the flower you're using, you want them to be, this one I'm using has about, um, I'd say an inch between each of the pieces of scotch tape. Keep going along, then you're going to start going the other way. So exactly what I said, we're making a grid along the top. Once you have your pieces across the top part, what you're going to do then is you're going to put one piece right around to hold them all down. Because sometimes if it gets wet, it'll start to come off. Make sure that your container is completely dry when you start this or the tape, of course, won't stick. Go right around the base. Now you're going to see that there's scotch tape showing on here. Don't worry about that until after you're done your arrangement. So once you're finished putting your tape on top and making the grid, this is really important. Because if you start to stick your flowers in, you might break the tape because it's flat. So what you want to do is pinch the tape together to make it just a little bit thinner so if you're flowers hit it, it's not going to break it. There we go. Now you're ready to start your arrangement. Now this is a bouquet of flowers that somebody may have sent you, or what I've done here, the girls have done here, is giving me flowers that could actually be flowers that you grow in your garden in the summer. So what we have are cabbages, some berries, some hydrangea, and some roses. Take your greens, again, don't let the greens go into the vase. You don't want any greens down below the water. That causes bacteria, it gives more bacteria, will give you less life of the flowers. Cut your stems, I go around the base. If you're doing it, go around the base of the vase, or the perimeter of the vase, I should say. Then start with your big flowers. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how to make a very tight arrangement that you could put on your table, simple. You see how the flower's holding in there? If I didn't have any of this grid on the top, this flower would fall right out of the vase. So here I'm just putting the finishing touches on. Very easily done. And there's your centerpiece. Simple.